Durante miles de años, la luna ha inspirado innumerables historias maravillosas. Durante las últimas seis décadas, hemos seguido explorando la luna, desesperados por conocer sus secretos. Hoy, una nueva aventura lunar está a punto de comenzar. Hello, everyone. I'm Mule. Well, with the help of the latest XR, VR, and AI technologies, I've just landed at the far side of the moon, the lunar hemisphere that permanently faces away from the Earth. There are craters everywhere, all formed by meteors, asteroids, and comets crashing to the surface over billions of years. The South Pole Aitken Basin, where I'm now, is the largest impact crater on the far side of the moon. Its diameter is about 2,500 kilometers, while the moon's diameter is only 3,500 kilometers. Oh, why is there a bunny here? So cute. Is this a legendary jade rabbit? There's a beautiful story about rabbits on the moon. En la mitología china, Chang'e es la esposa de Hou Yi, un heroico arquero. Hou Yi fue recompensado por los dioses con un elixir que concedía la inmortalidad. Para evitar que el elixir cayera en manos equivocadas, Chang'e lo bebió y voló a la luna acompañada de su conejo de jade, llamado Yu Tu en chino. Yu Tu, Yu Tu, where are you? You two and I have been living on the moon for millennia. We live in Guanghangong, the moon palace. You two likes hopping everywhere. I've searched all over the near side of the moon and found no trace. Could you two have gone to the far side of the moon? Wow, I've run into Chang'e and you two after only just arriving on the moon. How lucky! Hey, here! Chang'e, it is so nice to meet you. Hey, well, thank you so much for helping me find Yu Tu. This is the first time ever I've seen a human being on the far side of the moon. Do you know that your story is so famous on Earth? Even China's lunar program was named after you, the Chang'e Project. Really? I can't imagine after so many years you have been still thinking of me. From the Chang'e 1 satellite in 2007 to the Chang'e 5 in 2020, Chinese scientists have gradually accomplished their mission to orbit and land on the moon, as well as bring lunar samples back to Earth. I applaud the wisdom and courage of humans and feel proud of China's achievements in lunar exploration. A few years ago, a huge machine landed on the far side of the moon. That must be Chang'e 4 probe, which in 2019 performed the first landing on the far side of the moon and brought the U-22 rover. Over the past five years, U-22 has traversed over 1.5 kilometers. Really? That's U-22. My pet U-2 is a friend of the rover and visited frequently. In 2020, China launched the Chang'e 5 probe which collected 1.7 kilograms of lunar materials from the near side of the moon and returned them to Earth for scientists worldwide to study. Now this year, the Chang'e 6 probe will collect lunar soil from the far side of the moon. What are the differences in the soil on the near side and far side of the moon? The soil on the far side is generally older than that on the near side. By analyzing these lunar samples, we can study the origin and evolution of the moon and our solar system. Plus, there's a great deal of helium-3 stored in the lunar surface, which is a clean, safe, and efficient fuel source. Scientists estimate the total reserve of helium-3 on Earth is only about 500 kilograms but there are potentially more than 1 million tons embedded in the moon's surface. 
which could meet our planet's energy needs for thousands of years. The moon appears so cold and lifeless. It's hard to believe it holds so many secrets. Look, another huge machine is about to land. That's China's Chang'e 6 probe. It will carry out one of the most complicated and difficult missions in the country's history. That's amazing. With the landing site so far away, how can it communicate with the Earth? Here are the probe's lander, ascender, the solar arrays, and communication antenna. These devices can directly transmit the signals to the Quechao 2 relay satellite. With the help of Quechao 2, scientists on the ground can receive and send instructions to the spacecraft on the far side of the moon. I see. So the Quechao 2 is somehow like a bridge between the Earth and the moon. Then what's this? This is a robotic arm which is 3.7 meters long and very flexible. It used to scope and collect the lunar soil from different spots. And here is a drilling device, which is even more powerful. It can drill more than two meters below lunar surface and retrieve lunar soil from deeper layers. Wonderful! How much lunar soil is Chang'e 6 expected to collect? The probe's designed to retrieve about two kilograms. Once the sample is collected, it is sealed and transferred into the ascender. Ignition. The ascender has lifted off from the far side of the moon and will enter a lunar orbit soon. The ascender will dock with the orbiter and the lunar samples will be transferred to the re-entering capsule. The re-entering capsule will eventually return the samples to Earth. What a complicated process. Will the Chang'e 6 lander stay on the far side of the moon forever? The lander also carries other scientific devices, such as the French Space Agency's door instrument, which measures radon on the moon's surface, and the negative ions at the lunar surface payload from European Space Agency and a laser retroreflector from Italy. It seems China is working with many other countries to explore the moon. And a CubeSat satellite, iCubeQ, from Pakistan is also in a lunar orbit. China has been open and cooperative since establishing its lunar exploration program two decades ago. China will also work alongside its international partners to build a scientific research base on the moon called the International Lunar Research Station. Where will the research base be located? It will be constructed on the Lunar South Pole. Over 10 countries and organizations have signed agreements with China on the research base. I guess that means there will be more people coming here in the future. Sure, China will land its manned missions to the moon by 2030. In the future, astronauts, scientists, and engineers from around the world will be able to work together at the International Lunar Research Station. Great! No doubt that day will come very soon. You two and I will wait for your good news at the Moon Palace. See you! Thank you, Chang'e. I look forward to see you again someday. The Moon is the first stop for mankind in exploring the deep space and unlocking the mysterious of the universe. As scientists say, if we persist in open innovation and cooperative exploration, we can expect some wonderful and unexpected outcomes.